Hey guys, welcome back to A Rabbit's Tale. It's been a long time since I've played this game. It's had a couple of updates out, uh, but we're back. It's Nico Jishi. Um, I, I, I'm glancing at two clueless big cats next to me, and I'm asking them whether or not they should hide, because Senpai's on his way up, or her way up, or whoever Senpai is. I'm not, I'm not totally sure who Senpai is yet. Uh, or maybe they told me, and I just completely <laughs> forgot, because it's been a while since I've played this. Uh, so let's see here. Since Senpai won't be able to see them, it should be okay. Crap. I need to at least close the door before he comes up. Tugging Leopard by the shoulder, I push him into the room, shutting the door behind him. Uh, wow, is that... I think that's... oh, that's me. Guys, just hold on a second. My Senpai is coming over, so please keep it down and stay quiet, understood? The two big cats nod obediently. Okay, so what I need you to... Wow, I'm here! I brought you some lo mein! Uh, I, I, I may mention, if you haven't watched any of my previous uh, Nikojishi episodes, I'm not great with the... Uh, with, with non-English uh, speaking languages, so... Please don't be mad at me for pronouncing things horribly, horribly wrong. I am... I'm very white. <laughs> Uh, uh, just a second, senpai. I gulp and look back at the two big cats as I open the door. One order of dinner for Lao coming up, eh? Huh? Y you You're Shu Chi senpai? What happened to senpai? This can't be right. Senpai's definitely human. S so definitely. <laughs> Senpai's definitely human. He's probably not a hideous creature. Or, or a soda can of some kind. <laughs> this guy in front of me is about the same height as the same... And the same short... What? Uh, hold on. This guy in front of me is about the same height and the same short... And small build as Senpai. Uh, okay. But I know for sure Senpai isn't a cat. If someone at school was a beast man, there'd be mayhem over it. I, I gotta come up with a good voice for this leopard cat. Uh, should I just, I'll just give him Spyro. Uh, right. Lao, are you? Is it Lao? I'm just gonna pronounce it Lao. Senpai, you look like... How did you... Lao, what's wrong? Why are you so confused? It can't be. Wait, you can see me now? Uh, oh, I gotta give this guy a voice again. Um... Griff! <laughs> what are you? Your aura! It's quite strange! Uh, so I'm not wrong? Senpai, you, you're a cat? No, I'm a leopard cat! It's a huge difference! <laughs> Even... <laughs> Even... <laughs> Even even though the name ends with cat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Mm. Okay. Even though the name ends with cat, I've got nothing to do with lowly house cats. Oh man, that, that cracked me up way too much. Aren't they basically the same? Leopard cats are just as big as house cats, after all. Are they? Isn't a house cat a small little thing, and a leopard cat is a... Like a big... thing? Oh, please! I'm heaps bigger than some house cat. Putting me on the same level as a house cat is just humiliating! That's besides the point. Senpai, you clearly didn't look like that before. Nope, I've always looked like this. To most people, I'm no more than an ordinary student. Hmm... But why can you suddenly see my real form? Also, those two behind you... I'm a garden guardian tiger serving Mazu, and I have watched over Lao ever since he was a child. I believe you would describe me as his... Childhood sweetheart, right? More like a creepy stalker. 
What the hell? Uh. Oh, I gotta give him a voice too. Um. Let's see. I've already done. I've got Spyro for the 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 lowly house cat and uh, Sarge for the big guy. So this has got to be. I don't know. Uh, Six and a half hours later. I know. Uh, I'll just give him. I'll just give him uh, Rukai, uh, clouded leopard. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm glad I figured that one out. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, wow. When did you start hanging with these spirits? Just today. It all happened in a blink of an eye. And even you turned out to be one of them. No, I... I came to visit you today because I need to ask you for a favor. Really? I never would have guessed. Do you know how valuable your ability is, Lau? I know this is abrupt, but you're the only one I can rely on. You're my only hope. <laughs> Alright. So what do you need, exactly? I'm actually a guard- oh, for God's sakes. A guardian tiger of a small temple in me- what? That's why you came to visit me? Because- Alright. You're a guardian tiger? Impossible. Whatever. I know it's weird. You don't need to tell me. Uh, hold on. Why did I get a little exclamation point here? New info. Ooh. Alright, cool. Uh... It may be rare to have a leopard cat as a guardian tiger, but I am. If you still question me, go ask my... Oh, God. Can I click on it and get more... Oh, 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 I, oh, I clicked and, and... Okay. Going back to the point, our temple is now being abandoned. If no one takes care of my temple, my... Oh, God. Uh... Fudegong? Uh... I keep wanting to say fudge gong, <laughs> but that's, that's not quite right. By then I'll be forced out, made to live like some stray cat. I don't want that to happen. So Lau, can you help me restore the temple, please? If you want any compensation, I'll do whatever you want. Wait, stray cat? I thought you weren't a... <laughs> that's not the point here. You can't have him. Lau lives under my care. There's no reason for him to serve in any other temple. If he must, he may help you, but Lao still has to return home. Wait, when did I ever decide to go home? If you can help me, Lao, please, can you lend me your hand? I beg you. I've gone through a lot to find you, and perhaps, for hundreds of years, nobody else with your ability will appear, let alone in time to save my temple. So, your temple is in... Uh, ma ma uh, ma uh, Mao uh, uh, I'm gonna say Mao Lai. Uh, got him. <sighs> Why can't they just give descriptions for English speaking people that don't <laughs> know what this is? Well, as great as it sounds, revving a reviving it, <laughs> revving. <laughs> Get that temple up and running. Uh, reviving a temple is easier said than done, I... Now, go to, uh, Wutai. He can see because of me. Hey, uh, Ping Tung is still a lot further away. Plead however you want, but it's Lao's power. He can do whatever he wishes with it. No me, N no talking. All of you. Just listen to me! All three of the big cats stopped, their eyes fixed on me. I don't want to go to one place or another or home or what have you. I just want to study hard, dance, spend time with my friends, graduate, dance, finally get to a city job, and dance. I don't want to get involved with any of this, please! But Lau, you have a rare gift. I never asked for it. You can't just force me to do what you want. I get the sense that they can. Lao, calm down. We can talk about it later. 
I won't make any promises. Well, you heard it. That's it for today. As for now, please leave. Nice day. What? Won't give up. You're quite the stubborn one. Then I'll stay too. Uh huh. If he gets to stay, I do too. It's only fair. After all, whoever wins Lao over gets his help, right? Uh, mm, pretty sure I didn't say that. In short, we're all uninvited. So Lao, want to eat dinner together? Uh, disregarding my protests, Senpai makes himself at home, plopping himself down at my table, digging into his plastic bag, and taking out the lo mei, ready to eat it like he owns the place. Please stop bothering me! Unable to hold myself back, I shouted in frustration. Lightning scorched the earth. My, my Apple computer uh, twitched in anticipation. Hey, quiet down! What time do you think it is? My neighbor's ground-shaking roar thunders through the walls. Crap! Lao, I should inform you that people cannot hear us talking. To them, it would be no different than you talking to yourself. If you are excessively loud, they may end up believing you to be some lunatic. You don't have to tell me that part. Regardless, you can see how tiny my room is. All of you couldn't stay here even if you tried. There's no changing my mind on this, so please, can you all leave me alone? Even if you all are... a Adorable beast, man. You can't... Uh, I let my secret out. Please don't notice. Please don't notice. Lao, I know you... what you want to say, but you may not give in just because of your unique tastes. What the hell? Furthermore, I am here, and I will not let them disturb you. But Lao, even if you don't want to, you'll still see me at dance club tomorrow. There's no way you can just quit the club to avoid me, right? Damn it, Senpai's right. I love going dance club. I love going dance club so much. I, all <laughs> I love going dance club. And it means so much me. There's no way I'd leave just avoid him and he knows it. <laughs> Oh god. I may I'm making fun, but honestly, it's it's little things like this where I just I don't know how you can I don't know how you can miss that. Microsoft Word has a grammar error, it would have caught that. Anyway, Senpai, you're so cunning. <laughs> not really. That's not a compliment. Alrighty, since Lao will see me anyways, it won't make a difference if I stay here. That's not how it works. You can still go home, and I still can't fit this many people in my room. That guardian tiger's definitely not going anywhere, and I don't see that leopard guy leaving anytime soon, right? It'd just be unfair if I didn't get to live with you, too. What do you mean by live with me? And other people can see you. What would people think if you suddenly started living here? You can just say we're in a relationship. No way! Granted, within the club, it's no secret that me and Senpai are gay. Oh, the truth comes out. The truth is out. It will set you free. Senpai himself is quite the charmer and cute to boot. His potential suitors alone could fill a whole classroom. He has potential suitors? Jesus. Who? What kind of... Or am I in high school or college? I forget. Who the hell talks like this? Still, I don't want to get into a relationship all of a sudden. It's not like I really have feelings for him or anything. Well, there'll be no problem as long as we don't go home together. We have different class schedules as well. Or you could even just tell people you're seeing me, uh, me home. See, it'll be fine. Even so, no way. Okay, let's go about this another way. If this leopard guy leaves, Senpai wouldn't have a reason to stay. Let's ask him instead. Uh... Mr. Clouded T Leopard, you... Do you really have to stay? Could you please... Nice day. Uh... Nice day. Can you please listen to me? <laughs> I will not leave you to anyone else. 
Uh, I can tell I'm blushing right now. Does this guy even know what he's saying? How'd he get so fluent all of a sudden? I, I call bullshit on him not being able to speak the language. Uh, it's just that at the moment, no matter what, I can't fit all three of you in this room. Not a problem. Of course it's a problem. Uh, now, did you forget? They're spirits. They don't need to take up any real space. Even if you can feel them, it's not like it's gonna get crowded. They could just float in the air, or even stay inside the desk or something. There's no way I will stay inside a desk. I'm a god after all, I have my pride. Why do you want them to stay? So I have a reason to stay with you. Senpai, you have no shame. <laughs> not really. Again, that's not a compliment. I just want to stay with you. Lao, please don't be so mean to me. I came all the way to visit you. If you're still unsatisfied, it's not like I can't compensate you with my body. Oh my god. Whew. It's, uh, it's getting heated in this... Oh man, that probably blew out my, my pop filter a little bit. It's getting heated in this room. Uh, you don't have to do that. I... I don't care. Regardless, I'm exhausted and I actually need to take a shower. I'll deal with this later. Oh, we're in a different room now. Let's see, we've got, uh... A picture inside the... I'm hoping that's a picture, because it, if it's a mirror, there'd be a weird place to put a mirror on the, on the right side there. So I guess there's a picture in the bathroom. One towel. Box Kleenexes. A toothbrush, uh, a window for peeping toms, and uh, we're good to go. Matching towel and, and uh, shower curtain, though, I like that. Uh, enough is enough. I rush into the bathroom, slam the door, turn on the shower. Holy moly. What's wrong with these guys? I mean, beast men are cute, but to have a bunch of them pop into my life all at once, it's just too much for me to deal with right now. Trying to calm myself once again, I close my eyes for a moment. The warm water flows over me, consoling my mind and soothing my drained body. I can't say I haven't thought about it before, about beast men being real, but having one close to me, who would have thought? Perhaps somewhere out there, even if only for a day, someone would do just about anything to be me right now. But things are never that easy. Putting the two that want my help aside, that guardian tiger, has he really been with me ever since I was born? I have no reason to not believe him, but if I did keep him around, would I ever be truly free from my family? The whole reason I came to Taipei, the whole reason I started college, was to get away from all that, and dancing is just a big waste of time to them. If I went back home now... Come on, what year is this? Who wants to be a... Oh, that's a word I don't know. I'm sorry. Now that I think about it, the other two options aren't much better. Restoring Senpai's temple means being in charge of it. Otherwise, how would you draw people in? Knocking on doors with a fancy pamphlet asking, Do you have a moment to talk about our lord and tigers? And then there's the other one, asking me to move to Wutai. Sure. It is not as stale as being some temple priest, but the thought of living by myself in some tribe in rural Pingtung, I have things I want to do with my life. I want to help them, but it's not like I can just up and agree to change my life for these guys. No, I have to get rid of them, by any means necessary, even if they are adorable beast men. Oh, the music stopped. Uh, and you know what? That, I think, is going to be enough for this episode of A Rabbit's Tale. So, until we continue, um, we'll pause here, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care. <laughs>